What does the future look like for Notion and your Notion setup this year? With the new feature releases and the new users coming to Notion at the moment, this is my look ahead at what's coming in 2023 for our favourite all-in-one productivity workspace. Hi, it's Simon. I thought I'd share a sneak peek today at the Notion plans, features and developments that are getting me most fired up for 2023 on the Better Create channel. So, grab a brew and let's look at the five ways I think you'll be improving your Notion workspace in the future to find that joyful productivity in the process. From auto-tracking, AI and aesthetics to new templates and a true Google Calendar integration? Maybe? Is it coming? Let's get stuck in. Number one is automated tasks and trackers. They're here. I'm so happy to see these features starting to spread their wings this year. In December 2022, Notion finally released not only recurring database templates, but also database sub items and dependencies. If you look past that Notion tech jargon, that basically means we're taking our first steps towards now creating truly automated daily trackers in Notion, recurring task templates for each day, and things like timeline maps with our dependent to-do list items linked together. What I'm loving is that we can now add subtasks to project or parent tasks, which will also have progress bars that track your progress on the whole lot. And I realized that we can also use this feature for tracking the progress of goals by creating sub milestones for those goals as sub items. I'll be creating video guides and build videos on all of this over the coming months. So if you haven't yet, a sub to the channel is clearly your next sub item to watching this video. Man, I'm really just disappointing myself at this point. And yes, for those of you wondering, I'm hard at work at the moment adding ready-built databases for tasks, projects, and daily tracking of habits in my complete life OS templates, along with a lot of other new goodies ready for a big new release later in the first quarter of 2023. So if you're new here, check out bettercreating.com uh, to see my templates there and find out more. And before we carry on, just a quick update to thank all of you that has already downloaded one of my complete Notion life OS templates over the last two years we're really building a community so anyone who did download version 2 of one of the templates you will be notified when this new version is ready and will get access via your original Gumroad download page but if you can please consider supporting my work this year by re-downloading it fresh with a discount code so you can help me keep doing what I'm doing that option means you'll also get my icon and covers pack included, more on that in a bit. And anyone who's still on version one, I'll be sending you a discount link to when it's ready. Future prediction number two has to be the arrival of Google Calendar Sync native in Notion. Ever since that exciting preview of what might be turning up at Notion's 2022 block by block conference, many of us have been eagerly awaiting the release of native synced database abilities. What many see as the last remaining key feature that will really add that seamless functionality to managing your time entirely in Notion. I chased Notion HQ for an update on this recently and well there's still no news. They didn't say why but given the promise and the visual demos of sync databases clearly demonstrating Google Calendar working in uh, that 2022 conference, surely we can expect to see something by the end of the summer. The real promise is that we'll finally be able to link our calendar and email meeting booking systems online directly with the tasks, notes, and resources that we're putting into our Notion systems. Seriously, it could be the big news for personal productivity power users we've been waiting for. And another big update session for us template creators. Let me know what you think in the comments and if you've heard anything. Next in Notion's near future, better aesthetic design. Okay, this one isn't so much Notion as it is me. Well, that's not fair. I'm a lover of modern and minimal design, and it was Notion's clean and simple design language that drew me to using it in the first place. And then I stayed for those powerful functions. And so, inspired by that, I'm actually super excited to tell you that I'm about to launch my first piece of custom product design. I've teamed up with Polk Designs, and we've created a curated set of minimal icons, widgets, and covers that are designed to seamlessly work across your devices and your Notion workspace, particularly if you're a kind of second brain user. So we've developed a clean black and white minimal design that also includes the colorways that match all of the native Notion system colors. They are easy to integrate across your Notion workspace 
then your phone, your iPad, and even widgets that we've built that can interact with your system, it makes a truly calm and curated aesthetic that I think Dieter Rams might actually be proud of. If you know, you know. I'll be releasing them in a few weeks with my iOS home screen customization tutorial. So watch this space on the channel, uh, which will show you how to create custom looks on your iPhone and iPad that can even change automatically between light and dark modes. Pretty cool. Link in the descriptions to both will be available. And if you're on this video early, you can sign up to the waitlist for those icon sets uh, in the description to get early bird access. Number four in the Notion Futures list, even better API and AI integrations. Here are four of my favorites right now. Make sure to drop your recommendations in the comments uh, so we can find other great integrations. The first has to be Readwise, the OG of knowledge capture. Yep, Readwise is the key API integration to my Notion second brain. It enables me to send any links, quotes, tweets, podcast clippings, automatically into my knowledge database in Notion. Why would you do this? Well, simple. You can then make more use of the things you consume by lining them up into meaningful outputs in your projects and to-do lists. This might be the main benefit I've got from using Notion other than saving time and organizing it. Well, Readwise just released the Readwise Reader, essentially creating a browser app that removes one more layer from the system and becomes essentially a really high-powered resource knowledge capture tool. If you're not a Readwise fan, then there's also Save to Notion. It's still a brilliant free Chrome extension that you should check out. If you haven't, you can create custom forms that then fully populate a database with clippings, tags, relation fields, all in the browser. I use it to add shopping items to my wish list database. It also works, I believe, as a direct Twitter and Readwise quote saving option, or thread saving option, if you don't use Readwise. Number three on that list is Q. I don't know if you've heard of this, a Notion-focused Twitter scheduling tool. I'd like to grow my Twitter presence in 2023, whatever you make of Elon's new leadership. Uh, it's still a great platform for finding and sharing knowledge if you use it right. With Q, you can write tweets and threads directly in Notion with a character limit provided. And as you customize your content calendar, it will publish and schedule posts from there. If you are a Notion Second Brain user or create content using uh, my complete content Notion templates. This looks like a fab addition to the system. 10 tweets and two threads are free per month. Otherwise it's $9 a month for a personal pro account. I think that's really good value for a social media scheduling tool. And then of course there's Notion AI. We can expect, I think, to see more from Notion AI and hopefully this year it will at least go into beta. It's already a great assistant tool to speed up how you work in Notion. Since I've been trialing it in the alpha version, I've got a video which will show you how it works and how to access it if you wanna know more about it. Um, I'd like to see them refine the processes of how you give it instructions, how it finds information, and hopefully I'd love to see the AI be able to actually directly integrate and work with databases. Let's see, Notion AI is seemingly here to stay. Number five is the explosion of ready-made resources and the Notion creator economy. To be fair, it's already happened. Since I started making templates for Notion uh, two years ago, it's been an absolute explosion of new creators looking to grow a side hustle or business from building useful templates, tools, and offering consultancy services in Notion. It's really cool to see. Now, if you fancy trying your luck as a Notion creator or any kind of digital product business, I really recommend watching my video on how I turn and building in Notion into a full-time business after this. I'll link it below. So my complete Notion Life OS template covers managing your tasks, projects, goals, habits, fitness, journaling, note-taking, knowledge base, links, and more, all in Notion. After collecting and reflecting on your feedback, I'll also be adding subtasks and dependencies, improved aesthetic design and navigation, para and GTD inspired dashboards, a new automated daily tracker and year databases, a decision-making dashboard, and the option to upgrade to a completely improved CRM and content management system for creators, solopreneurs. Topping all of that off, I'm really excited to say that this year I'll finally be adding free access to a new community Discord where the whole community of users can share questions and answers about using the template, including some troubleshooting, forums, guide videos, 
upgrade discussions and all the rest. So if you're new here, definitely go and check out those templates on bettercreating.com. You can download version two now if you like, and then move across or just join the waiting list for early bird access to the 2023 updated version. Finally, if downloading a big template is not your thing, or you want to brush up on your Notion fundamentals, make sure to check out my Notion from Scratch build series, uh, learn and build on YouTube together. Do that next. We build a whole Notion second brain as we learn how to use the system. Win-win. It would be great if you subscribed, amazing if you left a like, and I'll see you on the next one.